Leaf lettuce is one of those crops that everyone loves to grow because it's easy, it's quick, and nothing tastes better than garden fresh lettuce. Now it'll be one of the earliest harvests in your garden because of the number of days to maturity. So take a look at our seed packet for the mesclun mix that we plant. There are six different types of lettuce seeds in this packet. Grand Rapids, Black Seeded Simpson, Bib, Prize Head, Endive Moss Curled, Mustard, and Arugula. Now the maturity is 45 days for this lettuce. It's the number of days before you can expect a harvest. In gardener's terms, 45 days is a relatively short period. Now we also stagger our plantings throughout the warmer months so that we can have a crop of lettuce all summer. It's time to sow another row, in fact. Now we like to plant our lettuce heavy and thin as it grows. I recently paid a visit to a hydroponic farm where certain crops are raised all year round. <laughs> Let us take a look at this unique way of raising vegetables. This is a hydroponic greenhouse. We're here at Butter Valley Harvest where they've been raising crops hydroponically since August of 08. Let's go meet Ryan and find out a little more about this unique way of farming. So this is Ryan. Ryan, I understand your farm has a rich ag history. Ryan, how long has the farm been in the family? I'm the 10th generation with the East name, and there were a few generations before that, but it was really never sold outside of a family. Uh, from the deed of William Penn to uh, Hans Bauer, went to his son, and then his daughter, and then it was a Moyer, another generation of Moyer, and then the East family. And you all have always farmed mm -hmm. this area. Yeah. And now, in the 21st century, you've moved forward into hydroponic growing, mm -hmm. right? What made you take the first step into hydroponic growing? Well, you know, I, I was very appreciative of the history. You know, I grew up here until I was in my early 20s, until I moved away. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, I, from a distance, you know, I, I dreamed of going back, but didn't want to do a dairy farm or didn't, just didn't know what I would want to do. So in the suburbs of Washington, D.C. is where I sort of researched and and really thought about what would I do if I went back mm. and came across uh, uh, the company Crop King which really is predominant in North America in hydroponics and just researched with them, uh, did some grow training sessions and, and visited their, their site in Ohio and uh, sort of just made the leap and my dad retired from teaching and was willing to do this with me and so we're partners now. Wow, so it's really a family venture together. Yeah, sure. So how long would you say in months did you take to research hydroponics? Well, you know, it was probably uh, about six years ago when I bought the hobby kit. And yeah, about six years ago, we stopped in Ohio on, on a family vacation on the way home, saw what it was about. I bought the hobby kit, spent a couple summers growing tomatoes and strawberries. And we said, well, what if? So we went to Orlando to the National Conference in November 2007. And after I came home from up here, you know, Christmas with the family, I was like, we got to decide we could do this. And in January, it was done. We're going to put our house up for market, got all the, the funding. Uh, and here, you know, less than, less, it was less than a year from let's do it to let's, we're growing. Well, it's an amazing operation. I mean, it, it really is. I mean, when you walk in and take a look at what you actually do here, it's mind boggling. Yeah. Can you take us through the steps of sure. from a seed to a plant? Huh? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, hydroponics is all about soilless, you're growing without soil, and instead it's water, but you do need something to hold the seeds and the roots in place. Okay. So in the lettuce house, we use what's called rock wool, um, and it's bit really a, a, like a, a lava type rock that's spun like cotton candy. So it's very light, it holds yeah. water, water absorbs up from the bottom, um, so it's a good, good material. So we get these sheets, 10 by 20 inch sheets that are pre-drilled with the holes for the seeds. Mm -hmm. And that is where I place the seeds, uh, one at a time, unless I'm doing something like watercress, arugula, the salad blend, then they put multiple seeds in here. Okay, so uh, the rock wool will anchor the seeds, right. and it provides a good medium to grow in the water. Right. Okay. And yeah. what's the machine back here? Yeah, so when I'm doing, well actually I use this for, for all my larger seeds, uh, it's, it's a vacuum pump right here, and I, I set a sheet of the rock wool in the base. And then depending on my seed size, I have two of these that, that come out. This, this fits my, uh, 
my like butterhead and remain seed. I see. So there's 200 holes that line up perfectly with the 200 holes there. And I pour, you know, a bunch of seeds in here, plenty of seeds. I hook up the vacuum pump, pump which is right here. And while it's, it's sucking, it sucks the seed into place. Oh, not, nice. not through the hole, but right against it. Okay. And then I dump off the excess seeds. So there's now 200 seeds that line up identically here. And I close the lid and I turn off the vacuum pump and they drop and down they just, into they the just, hole. Yeah. That's, well, easy seeder, I yeah, should say easy so. Seeder, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, so let's say the rock wool is all plugged with seeds. Right. Now what do we do? So you just take a, a, a 10 by 20 tray where you can get anywhere, Walmart, any, any uh, gr greenhouse store. Um, so we set that, those 200 seeds in a tray like this. Uh -huh. This particular tray has uh, holes in the bottom. Um, I, I soak it first with the, the same level pH you know, water that, that the lettuce is getting as adults. If I soak it, I then carry it over to the nursery, which is over here. Okay. And it spends uh, 10, uh, 10 days, two weeks in the nursery. Wow, great. Okay, show us the next okay. step. So now this looks like different stages of growth. I see some seeds have germinated, in fact. Right. Yeah, this was planted on the, the 21st. Uh -huh. It's romaine. And then here, this is also remained, this is about five or six days older. So, you know, after I, I seed it, I set it in here, it's all soaked and it's, there's water flowing in the nursery okay. uh, constantly. It's constantly flowing. Um, when, once this would get four leaves, you can see the third leaf is coming. Yes. So this time of year, I would say in another three days for sure, it'll have four leaves. And at that point, it's ready to go into the, the channels for the rest of its life. Okay. Wow, this is really interesting. So Ryan, hydroponics is all about growing in water. Did you need an additional water source to supply the water? Yes, we, we chose to dig another well. Okay. Um, so we dug the well. A well is nice because it's contained. We have it tested a couple times a year. Uh, we, we have to have it tested initially to see what's the content, nutrient content, just in our water. We have high limestone soil. Right. You know, in our well water, we have a lot of calcium. So we had that, that water tested and the results sent to the crop king, which then make, gives us a recipe right. to supplement. What, you know, what does the lettuce need other than what's in our well water? Sure. So we get that recipe and then we mix it in these tanks you know, as needed. Gotcha. So we have three tanks here. Uh, these two actually are the, the ones that hold the nutrients. The third tank that's open right now is a battery acid from a, an automotive store because our well water is almost eight. The pH. Oh, the pH eight. is so high. It's real high, so we have yeah. to add acid to bring it down to about 5.5 five sure. to make it, uh, you know, su suitable for the lettuce to take up the nutrients. That's so interesting that hydroponics really, I mean, I wouldn't have thought that each water supply, yeah. I mean, you have to have nutrients specific for each farm. Right. So that makes exactly. a lot of sense. Yeah. And as far as filtering the water, where does that occur? It, well, the, the well water is fed uh, to an underground tank that has about holds a thousand gallons um, there's a pump you can hear the white noise of a yeah. pump running all the time all the time so there's there's a filter in the tank at the bottom it goes through a series of filters here um, and this is where actually a computer is monitoring the pH and the EC which is the nutrient content in the water so you can see right now I, I said 55 five. it's because our computer since the day we got it has all has been 0.3 low so actually okay. if you were to test it it would be 55 five. Um, and here's the electrical conductivity that I mentioned, the EC, and that tells us the level of nutrients in the water.